$200 monthly increase to Social Security benefits. The perfect solution. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I wanna discuss a new report that was just released in regards to the $200 per month raise to Social Security benefits or $2,400 more per year for millions and millions of beneficiaries. In fact, this report goes on to show that this would be the perfect solution. So let's get into it and discuss all the details and what this means for you as a fixed income beneficiary. Let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and so I can keep you updated each and every day as your one and only daily advocate. I am very much dedicated to you and this community to watch all this information hitting the wire each and every day, do all the necessary research and break it all down into these short videos so you can stay posted with what is actually going on and how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and so many other factors going on right now as things are changing very rapidly as we continue to get all these announcements out of the administration, the president, Congress, lawmakers, and everything that Congress is currently working on, including reform to these very important benefits, as well as raises to benefits, money, checks, programs, and so many other things that are going on right now. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Please remember, I'll be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication and my commitment to you and the community. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and talk about this new report that was released and why this is a perfect solution for millions and millions of beneficiaries. First off, let me ask you a quick question. What would an extra $200 per month do for you right now? I think that's a pretty easy question, right? I think all of us would probably say um, it would probably bring me back to even because realistically right now, we're probably all spending significantly more uh, each and every month or we've cut back on our spending just to make sure that those fixed income benefits are actually covering all the, the actually expenses every single month, right? So an extra $200 per month right now would honestly probably just bring people back to even from where we were about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, right? So yeah, that's kind of the fact of the matter that's going on right now. Anyway, let's quickly talk about a few statistics that were also shown in this report. Now, realistically, I probably don't even need to talk about these statistics because realistically, I think everybody here in the community probably completely recognizes, uh, yep, that's my life. Yep, that's what's going on right now. But let me share these with you because these statistics are actually based on huge numbers of people, as in millions and millions of beneficiaries. Therefore, the sample size on this is very large. So we can get a big picture of what is really going on with, with fixed income beneficiaries right now. So this reporter is actually showing right now that 33% or one third of the people out there in a household aged 65 or older are actually financially unstable and they're actually living strictly on their social security benefits. So honestly, that's a really sad report, right? is showing that one third, so every, uh, one out of every three people out there, 33% of those people aged 65 or older, these households are living uh, strictly on their social security benefit and are pretty much financially unstable. That's what this report is showing. So in other words, the income that people are getting from social security is simply not enough. I mean, obviously we all kind of know that right now, right? We've been talking about this for a very long time. This should come as no surprise to anybody that these fixed income benefits are just simply not enough. Now I do want to cite another report that was out uh, several months ago as well. But again, this is another one that we want to take into consideration. This other report is showing that 40% of fixed income beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for 90% of their monthly income. So again, you can see here a huge, huge percentage of fixed income beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for either all of their monthly income or virtually all, 90% of their monthly income, right? So Obviously, we can all see here, this is kind of a scary statistic. At the same time, the report also shows that 25% of those households 65 or older are, uh, are homeowners. So only 60, or sorry, only 25% of the households that are 65 or older are actually homeowners. Well, remember this much, somebody that owns a house, if they just so had to do so in the event of a you know financial situation or a pinch, you know things like this where they needed money, realistically, there's a few different ways that you could get money out of a house. Well, if only 25% of households that are 65 or older actually own a house, that means only 25% of people can actually access that equity in their home versus the other 75% that maybe don't own a home. Therefore, there's no equity to access, right? So in the event you can maybe get access, uh, 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 maybe like a home equity line of credit, 
You can maybe do like a reverse mortgage. You can maybe sell the house. You could refinance. There's a whole bunch of different options to getting money out of that house. But you can see here a very small percentage of people in that age category are actually uh, homeowners. So anyway, just a few statistics within this report here. However, now let's quickly talk about this $200 per month raise because this is actually coming out of the Social Security Expansion Act that was recently introduced by Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and a handful of other Democratic senators. Now, this is what this report is actually saying that this report is actually, or sorry, this um, this new bill, the Social Security Expansion Act, is actually a the perfect solution. And here's why. Because as we can see going forward, the labor participation rate is actually falling. In other words, anybody aged 16 or older who's either actively working or uh, actively seeking work right now is actually working. So 62.1% of the people out there within that age range, 16 or older, um, are actually working, right? And again, this is not necessarily fixed income beneficiaries. It's basically just anybody age 16 or older who is either working or actively seeking work that falls into this. But the fact of the matter is the labor participation rate is uh, kind of dwindling right now. It's, it's, it's going lower. Well, as a result of that, it's less people paying in through social security taxes into the social security trust fund, which ultimately at the end of the day, that money coming out of the social security trust fund is what's paying the monthly benefits to about 70 plus million beneficiaries, right? So very important. We need to have money continue to go into the program. Otherwise, we're going to have the insolvency issue, which we already know we're uh, facing right now in about 12 to 13 years as of right now, according to the latest reports. Well, as a result of that, they're looking at everything right now, suggesting that this would actually be a perfect solution, which would be raising benefits for fixed income beneficiaries by $200 per month or $2,400 per year for millions and millions of Social Security beneficiaries. However, that's just one aspect of the Social Security Expansion Act out of Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and the other Democratic senators. There are other factors within that bill to actually uh, increase Social Security taxes. So they actually want to implement more taxes for Social Security. And the whole point behind that would be to increase solvency for another 74 years out until 2096 is what they would want to do with this bill. So, uh, of course, there's a lot of different factors behind this actual bill and a lot of different moving parts behind this. But the report and the author of this uh, report are actually suggesting that this is a perfect solution. Number one, it increases solvency for the Social Security program by raising taxes on higher income individuals, which would ultimately flow back to the lower income or fixed income beneficiaries through raising benefits by $200 per month. See what I'm kind of saying here behind this bill? So it raises taxes on higher income and it brings that money right back and it gives it out to the low income and fixed income beneficiaries by an extra $200 per month. So it's kind of like a win-win for a lot of different people. And again, it's a win-win for ultimately Social Security as a whole, right? So anyway, that's what this report is actually showing. So at the end of the day, again, it would be pretty nice to get this $200 raise. But at the end of the day, let me throw this out there too really quickly here so that there's no misunderstanding about this. As of right now, Congress has not started working on this bill. But again, it's nice to see that they brought back this $200 per month raise because realistically, prior to this $200 per month raise being introduced yet again just a couple months ago out of this handful of Democratic senators and Bernie Sanders, who by the way is not a Democrat, he is actually an independent, but either way, he's still kind of lumped into that group, right? Because he's one of them that brought the bill and the proposal to the floor. But the fact of the matter is they're currently working on this and this is something that's out there right now, but they have not actually, you know, started moving through the legislative process. Either way, it's nice to have this out there because prior to them actually bringing this back through the Social Security Expansion Act that they introduced a few months ago, it's been about two and a half years since the last time that we saw any type of talk about a $200 per month raise, which was actually way back in late March of 2020 when the whole COVID thing was happening and things were closing down. Down, and there were three Democratic lawmakers who came out and introduced that $200 raise at the time. And as we all know, it never happened, right? We all completely recognized it never happened. And realistically, at this point, uh, that bill is long gone. However, this new one to replace it has come back in. And again, they're bringing back the $200 per month raise. So anyway, it's pretty encouraging. I was reading through this report and I thought, you know, it's kind of interesting. I want to share with you in the community here because anytime that I come across these reports and I see these statistics in here, just like I was saying right there, where 33% or one third of uh, fixed income beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for all of their monthly income and have virtually no retirement savings. 
and financially unstable. Again, scary statistics, but the fact of the matter is we completely recognize that this is what's really going on right now. And again, this is based on a huge, huge sample size of millions and millions of beneficiaries. Scary, right? Scary stuff. However, let me point this out there really quickly as well. These statistics are, are, are likely only going to get bigger and bigger. So right now it's 33%. Well, guess what? In maybe say 12 or 13 years, when the program potentially faces insolvency, that number could be 40%, maybe higher, maybe lower, but it's likely gonna continue to trend higher. Well, as a result of that, what happens when the program becomes ins, um, insolvent in the event Congress doesn't do anything? Now, I'm completely confident that Congress will do something before the insolvency date, but let's just say they don't. What happens then? In let's just say 13 years from now when the program is insolvent and people are strictly rely on their social security benefit for their monthly income, what happens when it gets reduced by uh, 20%? That wouldn't be a good situation. If you're relying on, say, all of your benefit right now, what if it got cut by 20%? Not a good solution, right? It would not be a good thing that would happen, right? This would be very detrimental for millions of people. But again, I want to throw this out there. I am not worried about that at all. I fully anticipate Congress will do something, but at the end of the day, it's still 13 years away. So honestly, they're not even thinking about it right now because it's just not really that pressing at the moment, even though for all of us, we feel like, hey, it's kind of pressing. Get it done, Congress. Get something done here. But again, they're looking at it thinking, hey, it's 13 years away. Let's let's let the next Congress figure it out, right? So, or like five Congresses from now, you know what I mean? So it's a long time from now. Anyway, I thought this report was pretty interesting. I wanted to bring it to you in this video, break down all the details of what they were talking about, as well as uh, the statistics out of this report that again, I feel like are pretty sad, but this is the fact of the matter. This is what's happening. And realistically, it's probably not gonna change in a big way other than possibly even getting worse to pr uh, provided how long this inflation continues to last. If this inflation continues to last and continues to rage on like it is, realistically, uh, this situation is just going to get worse. So it's not going to get any better unless Congress acts and does something in a pretty big way. Anyway, hope this video helps you out. And, get, and again, it gives you the latest updates of what's going on right now. As I do get more details out of Congress or anything in regards to raises, money, checks, stimulus, uh, reform to these very important programs or anything else like this, of course, I'll be right here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what's going on and how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle and everything else going on. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. And until next time, make sure to stay tuned and continue watching those videos as they continue to come out, as there's a lot of new information hitting the wire literally every single day. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.